And this is a pillar candle that I picked up at the dollar store. You want to make sure that you pick up a candle that's light in color for this technique. And we're going to custom make our own napkins so you can put whatever you want on them and custom make them with names or pictures or graphics. Um, today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make one with one of my graphics. And you only want the back of the napkin. And then you want to iron the napkin flat. I'm just going to put a piece of parchment paper over top of it so we can get rid of the wrinkles before we go to use it. Just keep it on setting six, no steam, and just get the wrinkles out of that napkin. And you want to be using a white napkin onto a white candle so it'll blend in really well. And now it's nice and flat and it'll be really easy to work with. Now I've just got a plain piece of computer paper and I'm using my crafter's tape and I'm just going to put a little dab in each corner and on the side of the computer paper so I can stick the napkin onto it so it will go through my printer. This technique will work on an inkjet and a laser jet printer. And you just want to set down your paper right in the middle of the napkin and smooth it out so there's no wrinkles and no bubbles. And then we're ready to cut off all the excess napkin around the edge. And make sure you cut the napkin really close to the edge of the computer paper because you don't want any edges to get caught as it's going through your printer. These candles would be perfect for a wedding, baby shower, um, birthdays, just to give away as a gift because you can customize them with names, anything that you want. The possibilities are endless. Now I'm ready to put it through my printer. My napkin goes face down in this type of printer. Shut the door and we're ready to print my graphic on it. And there we have the graphic printed on the napkin, ready to use on the candle. And now I'm just gonna cut around the graphic, just leaving a little bit along the edges. It'll blend in really well when we put it on the candle. And now we're just going to take the napkin off the piece of computer paper and we're ready to put it on through the candle. I'm just going to take the label off the candle and we're ready for the next step. Now for this step you're going to need wax paper. This is really important. You actually need the wax paper because we need the wax on the one side to help melt the napkin into the candle. So you want to take a piece that's a little bit bigger than the candle to wrap around. And you'll notice on the wax paper, you can feel the waxy side and the paper side. The wax side, you want to go in towards the candle. So we're going to place a napkin, and I got a little bit of static in my napkin here, but we're going to place a napkin exactly where you want it on the candle. And then we're going to take the wax paper and press it down firmly against that napkin. You want it nice and flat with no wrinkles, no bubbles. Get it laying right tight to that napkin. And then you're going to grab the excess wax paper at the back to hang on to when you're heating it. I like to use a dish towel to hang on to it or you can get an oven mitt, but you want to have something because it does get quite warm when you're using the hair dryer. So you want to protect your hand from the heat. And then you're just going to take your hair dryer on the highest setting and just gently go back and forth over the napkin and the candle. Don't hold it in one spot too long because you'll actually melt the candle too much. You just wanna go back and forth really gently and as it's starting to melt, you'll notice that the napkin will change color and it'll get darker so you can tell that the wax paper has melted into the napkin and the napkin below is starting to melt. 
just take your time and go back and forth really slow. You don't want to put too much heat on this at once or you will wreck the candle and you'll melt it too much. And you can see how it's starting to get darker now. That means that it's working and starting to melt into the candle. This is such an easy DIY and it is so fast and so easy to do. I am having a lot of fun making a lot of candles. And you can see how dark the lettering is now, so you know that it's almost finished and almost ready. And now you're just gonna gently peel away that wax paper and the napkin will be adhered right to the candle. And that's it, that's all you have to do. And if you don't wanna make your own custom napkins, you can just use a napkin with a pattern on it right from the dollar store. And always remember, never leave a candle unattended. I've burned these before, never had any problem with the napkin um, applied to these, but just be mindful when you're using them. Most of these I just use as decor and I actually don't even light them. So head to the dollar store, pick up some of these candles, or look at the thrift store next time you're there and pick up some of the candles there and give this technique a try. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and have inspired you to make some candles for yourself. Thanks for watching and have a great day.